El Dorado Royale is an adult-only, five-star resort situated on the Maya Riviera. Part of the charisma chain of resorts, El Dorado Royale is touted as a gourmet-inclusive resort featuring nine restaurants and culinary theater. With its lush tropical landscaping and luxury amenities, El Dorado Royale stretches 1.5 kilometers up the Caribbean coastline with access to the Casitas section and Generations Resort. In this review, we will overview the accommodations, resort amenities, dining, entertainment, and the overall experience. On our visit, we stayed in a swim-up suite in the newly renovated Building 51, located on the southern edge of the resort. The rooms are spacious and tastefully appointed. Quality linens are provided and beds are comfortable but somewhat soft. The room has a computer desk, small sofa, and dining table, along with LCD TV, mini bar with beer, water, and soft drinks, and a large closet with safe. Of note, the safe was not large enough for my 15.6 inch laptop. However, smaller laptops or iPads will fit just fine. The bathroom is modern with separate water closet and shower, along with dual vanities and a large jetted tub. Some suites come with a bathroom scale. Fortunately, ours did not. From the entry hall, large closets with shelves, luggage storage, and an iron with ironing board. El Dorado Royale is a large resort. However, the layout of the resort sections with several buildings surrounding a common activity area lends a smaller resort feel. Getting around is easy with the shuttle service or the extensive pathway system. The main property is split into the Royale section and the Casitas. In the Royale section, suites with swim up and balconies are available. The Casitas are larger upgraded suites with dedicated waiting pool and bar for each block. There are several additional upgrades in accommodation, including beachfront, presidential suites. Situated on the Western Caribbean, El Dorado Royale has soft sandy beaches with artificially protected coastline. There is a mix of sandy and rocky sections stretching up the coast offering areas for lounging or volleyball and other beach activities. We found the southern section to provide the broadest beachfront and best swimming area. Midway up the coast is a saltwater pool, open to the sea but protected from larger waves. The artificial reef of concrete pyramids and sandbags are designed to promote sea life and protect the beaches from erosion. At first, they may seem unattractive, but the commitment the resort has to protecting the environment is definitely admirable. The resort has three large pools with swim-up bars and two smaller pools. Some loungers and bally beds are available at the larger pools on a first-come basis, with exception of La Isla pool where reservations can be made. Beds with number plaques are for reservation only. There are several bars close to the pool and beach serving premium brand liquor and tropical drinks. Most bars will also have a coffee machine for morning or afternoon espresso. By the pools and along the beach, there are restaurants for lunch, serving a variety of foods from fresh fish to gourmet pizza. Activities are offered throughout the day from tequila tastings, bike rides, archery, and rifle shooting. Some packages will include a shopping trip to Playa del Carmen to pick up souvenirs. Most shopping trips will have a mandatory stop at a sponsored jewelry store along the way. Destination weddings are becoming more popular and El Dorado offers beach, garden and indoor options with reception and accommodation for wedding guests. There are two spas on site, one in the Royale section and one in the Casitas. In addition to offering full spa services, the Sky Massage provides private couples massages right on the beach. Check with your concierge for weekly offers to get the best deals. Our couple's massage cost around $260 for about 80 minutes each. Not cheap, but an experience you probably can't get back home. 
One of the most popular reasons for choosing El Dorado Royal is the gourmet dining. With many Mexican all-inclusive resorts, the buffet is a common sight and generally less than satisfying. Not here. Meal presentation is on point and the quality of the ingredients shows. Nine restaurants and four gourmet corners scatter the resort. Asian fusion, Italian, Mediterranean, Caribbean and of course Mexican cuisines are featured. The Rincon restaurant is a must for the freshest tasting gourmet Mexican cuisine on the Maya Riviera. Be sure to book a reservation for Frienta's Culinary Theater for a behind the scenes look and taste of the culinary philosophy. The quality of the ingredients is due primarily to the fact that most herbs, vegetables and fruits are grown on site in the resort's very own greenhouse. Our favorites? The Italia Casitas, Santa Fe and Rincon Mexicano. Our least favorite was La Isla. Breakfast can either be a la carte or expanded continental. Sit down for a gourmet lunch or pick up a snack at one of the gourmet corners. If you like staying in, room service is free 24 hours a day. At night, the centrally located Guacamayas Theater is the entertainment hub. A different show every night with singing, dancing and cultural shows filling out the schedule. The Fire Show, Michael Jackson, and The Stars Show were our favorites. After the show, stick around as the theater is transformed into a discotheque, with drinks and tacos late into the evening. Wi-Fi is available throughout the resort, including your room, pool areas, restaurants, and even most parts of the beach. All restaurants will ask about food allergies when entering. For those with allergies, wait staff is very attentive to allergies and ensures all ingredients are safe. Gratuities are included in your resort cost. However, it is common for guests to tip the wait and room staff. El Dorado Royale primarily attracts guests from North America and Europe, where there are differences in tipping customs. From what we saw, if you feel like tipping a US dollar for a drink, or five to ten dollars for a meal service or housekeeping, do so. If you don't, the staff will generally not be offended and understanding of the difference in customs. All tips, no matter what size, are appreciated. The weather is pretty consistent throughout the year with highs from 27 to 32 degrees Celsius, or 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Rainy season is July through November, but expect some rain on your stay. Some days it will rain for about 10 minutes, other days a few hours. El Dorado Royale is a fabulous resort with a great mix of culinary options, activities, and entertainment for less than competitive resorts on the Maya Riviera. The resort is beautifully maintained and the staff is meticulous and energetic. If you like this video, please leave a like. We'll be coming out with more travel reviews, excursions and tips in the coming months. So be sure to subscribe and help our channel grow.